flats is affecting so many people, those just trying to get to the doctor's office, those trying to get all the way down to Florida. But it's also affecting people who drive for a living. So our Nine on Your Side reporter, Tony Maronis, rode along with a delivery driver who usually would take I-75 southbound, use it quite often, to find out how this is affecting him. And I'm right here near the intersection at Hopple and Colerain, and you can see traffic is backed up for a good click. What they're all doing is they're taking Spring Grove Avenue up here to Colerain to get back on Hopple to get on 75 South. I ran into a truck driver today who delivers food to restaurants, and he said, you're going to have to find a better way. <laughs> you got a lot of people from out of town that don't realize where they're going once they have to jump off the expressway. They're forced onto side roads where they don't realize where they're at. And then you got a lot of out of town truck traffic sort of going down roads that have no idea where they're at, if they can even be on these roads. So it kind of binds things up on all the, the roads that run parallel with the expressways. The cars here in Camp Washington could have kept going on Spring Grove Avenue. You see, it's wide open. Signs even point to the interstate. Eventually, they'll get right back on 75 at the museum center. It was early in the day, so... I met Donnie Lynn along Mike's delivery route. You know, people were really, really being more aware and taking the back road, so whenever I was near the exits of the highway, a little congestion. She made it to work on time. And Mike finished his deliveries right around noon. So I did get a couple hours extra early start this morning, and knowing that it was going to be a problem, I just changed my ride around for the rest of the day. A little planning and a lot of patience. Their commute was more tolerable. Tony Moronis, Nine on Your Side, Camp Washington.